Well, here's that bit of Cretaceous dinosaur age bone I prepped. When I first found it, when this I saw this piece sticking out here and then on the other side too, I thought it might be a plesiosaur rib. And it could still be, but it's very weird looking. I sent it to a few experts, some um, paleontologists and fossil experts, and half of them came back saying it might be one of the, the ribs, the bottom ribs, the gastralia of a plesiosaur. But others have come back saying it might be the rostrum, so the, the nose, the sword part of a Cretaceous billfish or a false billfish. I'll put a photo of it on screen now. And it does look very similar to the photos I could find online. I'll put a few on now too. So yeah, I'm sure someone watching it recognizes it. So if you do know, please let me know. It'd be awesome to get an answer to this bit of mystery here. But whatever it is, it's a pretty cool piece of bone. The rock was super soft, so it was easy prep, only like a couple of hours. Here's that plesiosaur vertebra from close to where I found that one. And you can see it has also got some, you know, quite weird texture to it over here. So it's not a smooth texture like you would expect from fossil bone. It's definitely got some, you know, some texture going on there. But this one is very uniform. It doesn't look to be random at all. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick prep. It was a nice easy prep of that mystery Cretaceous bone. If you do know what it is, please let me know in the comments or send me a link to an article or something. And I hope you enjoyed the little bit of bass guitar in there. I uh, recently got my bass guitar back from South Africa where it's been for like 10 years and yeah I'm real rusty and the strings are very rusty too because they're like 10 years old but it's great fun to try and play it again. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.